Hi everyone, welcome to ITBK. In today's video, we will learn the steps of deploying PowerShell script to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. We can use Microsoft Intune management extension to upload a PowerShell script into Microsoft Intune, then deploy it to Windows devices. Once the PowerShell script is uploaded, we can run this script to Windows device. The Intune PowerShell script deployment is done using the Intune Management Extension Agent. Intune Management Extension Agent will check every hour with Intune that if any changes has been made to the script or assign any new script. Even this process will run on the machine after every reboot. Once we have assigned the policy to Azure AD group, the script will run and run results are reported. Once the script is executed, it doesn't execute again unless the changes have been made to the script. If the script fails, the Intune management agent retries the script three times. So let's get started. Again, you can log into Microsoft Intune using the URL intune.microsoft.com and you must be global administrator or Intune service administrator to perform these actions. Now, uh, let's say we want to create a script that will create a test folder in user's C drive. So run Windows PowerShell IEC as an administrator. Okay. You can open this uh, script section from here, right in the script section. I pasted this command to create a test folder temp, create a temp folder and then a subfolder test folder in C drive. Uh, let's first test this script and then we will save this. Let's debug this script. Yeah, the script ran and let's see if we got a test folder here. Uh, first temp folder and then test folder into it. Yeah, we got that for your verification. Let me show you once more uh, run and See, yes, we again got a test folder here Okay, perfect. The script is working Let's save it on our desktop uh, Yeah Test folder Okay Save it on desktop as a PowerShell file. Save and close. Okay, we got the script here. Let's go back to Intune. Go to Devices section. In the Devices section, here we have to find scripts and remediation. And let's go ahead and go to Platform Script. And let's go ahead and create a script for Windows 10 and later. In the script name, we will name it create folder in C drive. Okay. Add the same description, hit next. And here we need to select the script file from desktop. Here is the file. Run script using the logon credential. Yes, if you want to run script using the log on users credential that's fine but so here uh, we have option run script using a log on credential yes we want when the user is logged on the specific user or device then we want to run this script or uh, i'm not changing this option i will leave is it as default enforce script signature check yeah the script must be signed by a trusted publisher yeah that's fine we need to Keep this. Yes. Run script in 64 bit PowerShell host. By default, the script will run in 32 bit host architecture. Uh, if you want, you can do yes to run it 64 bit, but that's up to you. I don't want to change it. I want it to run in 34, 34 bit architecture at max. Here we have the option of adding group. Uh, let's create a group uh, for this. I forget to create the group. Um, uh, let me quickly create a group. 
and add uh, the users into a group that needs to be add users into this group on which you want to run the script so let's name the user uh, let's name the group folder and group name we can set as folder in the description we will say test folder and drive that's fine let's add few members here go to devices and i want these members okay let's add that group here we have created a test group remember a few seconds ago and i want to add this group here right if you want to exclude any group you can add to excluded group here we don't want that here uh, you can review all the settings for device and zero users group is added here and you can click on add to add this script let's go to devices and let's go to uh, scripts again to find it out that it's created yes it is created and in the properties section uh, let's show me show you overview so once this script is propagated and applied to the devices added into this group you will see the details here right succeeded or error succeeded or error and in the property section if you want to change anything or if you want to update the script you can go here and you can update script or if you want to change any other option you can do that uh, from here you can also edit uh, group assignments from here and in the monitor section you have the option of device status and user status that you can check the script status so that's it about today's simple video thanks for watching keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe bye